Got old Bessie here behind me, and I'm fixing to show you how I unload the boat by myself. This strap right here that you crank your boat up on, because I just unloosen that strap right there. See, just like that right there. Now, you got to leave it hooked up. See right here? You got to leave it hooked up. This won't work if you don't do that. And this other strap right here, that's to hold your boat down while you're going down the road. So you want to unhook it. I'm going to drop my tailgate just like it right there. I'm easing Bessie back in the water here. You hear that? See that strap? See, it's, it's, letting, it's letting the boat slide off the trailer back there. Now, always put your safety brake on there. Now, then what I do, see that right there? Then what I do, I just get up here like this right here and walk down here. See? Now, you got to have pretty good balance to do this. But anyway, just hold on to that right there. Pull the boat up here to me. Pull the boat up here to me like this right here with the strap. See, she's floating above the trailer. And then once I undo the strap, just push her back off the trailer. See, that right there. It's pretty quick, pretty simple. Yeah. Folks, today I'm over here on Gunnersville. And I'm, I'm really excited about today. It's a fishing trip. Now I came over here yesterday, and boy, I got in them. I caught one, oh Lord, I got in them. But I had a hard time catching bait. I spent three hours yesterday trying to catch bait. And I finally caught some in 30 foot of water. Okay, this is gonna be the lick right here. Guarantee you. See, you can see the net. See, you can see the net right there. See, it's going right on down there. See, it went right through them. Yeah. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping we caught some of them. Let's pull it up here and see. Oh, we got them this time. See right here. Look here. That's what we want right there. I'm gonna put this big minnow on right here. See here, that's about four or five inch long. Hook them right up through the lips right there, like that right there. Here we go. Hey, one done got it. Uh-oh. No, I mean, it's showing up, uh-oh. That's a good fish right here, big fish. Big fish right here. I'm glad I got that net out. I don't know what it is. But boy, that thing didn't hardly hit the water good, son. He come up and got it. I don't know what this is. It almost feels like, let's see. Let's see what it did. Getting ready to see him right here. Oh my goodness, what a bass. Oh my goodness, what a big bass. I'm talking about a big, big, big bass. Oh Lord. Golly. And I barely got him hooked. Oh Lord. Check this out. Now this, this here's a whopper. <laughs> that is one big whopper of a large mile right there. Oh Lord of mercy, y'all. Ah, look at that. Look at that fish. We're going to weigh this in here. I got me some bubble scales. Oh my gosh, y'all. I didn't have no idea there's one like this hanging around here. Uh, you don't never know. Look at that little hook right there. I'm going to put him in this minor tank I get my bubble scales out. A lot of oxygen in there for him. See that boy? Ah, Lord of mercy, y'all. Look here. Bubba. He scaled right here now. They're supposed to be real, real accurate. Like I say, they're brand new. They ain't even got no minor scales on. Golly, what a fish. What a fish. Just clip him on there just like it right there. Okay. Uh, see right there? All right, let's raise him up and see what he's going to weigh. Ooh-wee. see. Seven. Seven pound. Mark it. Seven, seven. Right there. Look at that. Oh, Lord, that's a big one. Now, that right there, that's a mama mama right there for sure. Seven pounds, seven ounces. You seen it on them bubble scales back there. Big mama mama, seven pound. Lord, man. She's hungry. These fish feeding today. Look at that. That's the wind. She went back right over down to where she come from. Now, folks, I'm just using two. I got two little split shots on there. See right there? I lock them up about 18 inches above above that. And I got 30, 30 pound high-vis braid on there. And it's mono right here I got on. It's a 12 pound test mono. It's always fun to fish around these bridge columns because you don't never know what's hanging out around them. Look, it could be crappie here. They could be spotted bass here, largemouth, 
striped, just a mixture of fish in here. It's just man-made structure right here in the middle of the river. Another big one. Oh my gosh. Oh, another. Oh, this is another big one. This is another big one now, I'm telling you. Look at that pole man. Yeah. I call him Will on that, ain't I? I don't know what it is. I think it's going to be another good one. What is it? Oh my gosh, another big one. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm in them right here now. Oh Lord, I'm glad I come over here this evening. This looks like a big, uh, what is this? Oh Lord, this might be a big spotted bass. I don't know. It's a big bass, so we're gonna weigh this too, probably, if I get him in. We'll just see. Oh, it's a big spotted bass. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Now that's a big spot. Oh yeah. Look at there. I just barely had that fish hooked. Look here. Just a barely had him hooked. Look, look at that. That's a fat one there now. This near, let's just weigh this one. We got old Bubba out back now. Let's just weigh it. This fish right here weighs three pounds. Seven ounces. Oh yeah. That's a nice spot. Yeah. Hey, hungry today now. Only had about an hour to fish right before dark yesterday afternoon. Now we got this major front coming in. With these fronts coming in, these fish feed big, big time. So we're going to go back out here and get back on this place. Appreciate y'all tuning in. I'm Rocky Drake. Rocky Drake Outdoors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What you got? You want to go fishing? Yeah. Get in the boat with me. Oh, well, I ain't never met this gentleman before. Seems like a real nice guy, though. Yeah, I've seen a lot of his videos. <laughs> he, ain't ca he, he ain't camera shy, so let's go, hey, let's go catch this one. Sounds good. Let's go. Flat foot giant, you see. There you go. Here we go. Good to meet you, Chris. And shook hands with nice you. Nice to meet you, Chris Pounds. Good luck, Tony. <laughs> there it is. Look at her. Snickers. Yeah. Hey, this is a double, double decker. You on part of it? Yeah, I take half of it. All right. You can't beat a Snickers when you're hungry. Uh -uh. No. I'm... Chris, you've never actually done this kind. Never of... done this kind of fish. Fished oh. all my life, but never done this kind of fish. And looking forward to it. All right. So I'm gonna put in manner on now. I'm gonna throw it out and catch one there. One right there. Like I say, this bait we doing fishing with today, these are thread fin shad, yellow tails. Now, Chris, what you want to do, buddy? See, this little number two hook now is what we're using. Yes, sir. You just want to hook them right up through the bottom lip, both lips, just like that. Just like that. See right there? Yes, sir. When you throw him out there, just kind of throw him real easy right in front of that column, about three foot out. Okay, now just leave your bail open and just, 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 just let it go down. Pick up on the left. Okay, let it go down. Let me show you right here now. What you want to do is just hold it like this and keep your finger on the line just like this. Yes, sir. And when one hits it, just drop it and let him run with it just a little bit. Okay. Oh, there's one on there now. <laughs> Set the hook. Oh! Let it go. Okay, flip it out there. Let it keep going down. Just drop it down and pick it up. What that's doing, that's making that minnow flash around down in there. This water's real clear. They can see that minnow for a long yeah. way. Okay, he's on it. Let him run with it, Chris. Oh, he's we fish it. Have a good just, one. Just let him run with it. And when you set the hook, just come straight up with it. Okay. Okay. Flip your bell over. Here we go. Set Rocky the hook Drake. straight up. You got him? Yes, sir. He's you, on there. You got him, ain't you? Let me get the net. Oh Lord, let me get the net. Keep him keep him down in there, boy. Oh Lord, that's a good fish. Yeah, they got him. Oh, so. It's a nice large mouth right there. We thought it was a spot at first. It's that dark lateral line right there, but that's a nice one. Well, let's let him go and let him grow up. Thank you, Rocky. All right, don't you catch you nothing. Yes, sir. Chris up there now, he's a crappie, man. He's, he catch him crappie. He crappie fishing when I, when I met him a while ago. These fish are just right out in here. And we're just upstream from them, so we're letting our bait just wash down to them. And they're sitting here with their nose into the current like that. That's what they're doing. We're sitting in 47 foot of water. The boat is at 58.9 degrees water temperature. Craig getting by back here. We're gonna put this little red hook to it. Put the red on him. He got him! Oh, he's I bet that's spotted bass. I can tell the way he's acting. I mean they fight boy. I don't know. A little bit of hey, that's a good fish. Hey, look how. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's definitely a spotted bass. I tell you what, I'm going to go and just scoop this up for you. Because this near come out of deep water. And I'll, no, that's a smallmouth. No, it's spotted bass. Lordy mercy. This one here, look at, see how, see how light colored this one here is, y'all? 
Look here, look, look how light colored it is. Why is it so much different? They come out of deep water. Them fish deep, they're deep down in there. Oh Lord, look at the line coming out here. Yeah. Doggone it, I think he's on it. Oh yeah, he's on it. Nah, yeah, now we're talking. Yeah, nah, nah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah he's good. He's gonna jump right there in that sunlight. Yes, this is a lot better fish than what we've been catching. Well, pretty nice one. Oh yeah, get that, get that big choker. <laughs> oh yeah, good grief, that's a good one. Now that fish was in 50 something foot of water. <laughs> that was probably four, four and a half. He weighs four pounds, six ounces. Y'all can look down in there. You can see a tail sticking out of his mouth down in there. We're done eating him in there. There. <laughs> the crest just got broke off. Leader and everything. So I'm just going to show y'all the, the knot that I tie the leader on with. A lot of people won't know about that. So this here is a, uh, this here is called a Alberto knot. What you want to do is you want to put your, let me show you this line we use right here. This is Berkeley, 12 pound test, extra smooth. See right, China? So that's for that's a leader line. So we're a mono too. So you want to take your leader line, your leader line, put in your left hand. It's a lot easier, and it's kind of hard to do out here in the swing too. But anyway, and then you take your braid, and you just run it through that loop right there, just like that right there. Now this is called an Alberto knot. Mr. Alberto invented this. And then what you do is you mash that right there, just like that. And then what you do is you take that braid, and you roll it down that line right there at mono about four times down see just like that and then you roll it four times back up let's just go back like that see right there right back up in between where this knot works when you pull it tight it kind of cinches itself between them knots so you so you go in between that right there then when you get back up there toward the top like that you take your, your braid and run it through that little loop right there see now some people say you need slobber on them. I mean it works better, but I don't slobber on mine. So let's just pull it too like it. See it? See that right there? That's that's, a, that's an Alberto knot. Now that right there is a good knot. It's quick to do too once you do get to learn how to do it. But what you gotta be careful of is when you uh, when you cut these tag ends off, you don't get too close to the knot, it'll come undone. So what I do, and I ain't got my glasses on, hopefully I won't get too close. Just cut that off like that. I always check it too after you do that and this one here let's see here we got this front coming in these fish are going to bite today y'all they bit yesterday y'all seen that video i got yesterday okay see right there pull on it okay now now as far as the length chris if you would just roll it up now I, i'm gonna show you yeah just roll it on up now just keep rolling there chris now, the length of this leader to me, okay, I, I bring it down about right there. You don't want this knot to get into your spool right here, because if it does, it'll it'll kind of bind it'll bind you up when you when you go to throw it. So anyway, I don't know. It's probably about eight foot long. Okay, now we're gonna tie the hook on here. Now these hooks I'm using, these are owner hooks, number two. Let's put one of these hooks on here, and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that with a. Uh, Polymer knot. You just, I, I'm trying to do this without my glasses on. I <laughs> can't even get the, Oh Lord, there we go. Uh, just run it through like that, back through like, like. Well, hold on. Okay, back through like that. Okay, and then we're gonna see right there. It's doubled up in the eye of the hook. And then, hold on. Man. Try to do this without my glasses. Then you just twist it like it right there, like that right there. And run that back over the hook like it. Pull her tight and make sure that that uh, that knot ain't down in there where that, that little hook comes together right there. Cause there's a little sharp area right there. If that line gets down in there, it might cut you. It might cut your line when you get a big old fish on like like Chris fucking catch right here. Man. See right? Oh Lord, mercy. Now I'm gonna put Chris on a couple of little small split shots right here. I don't know how big them are. 
small. I'm gonna put them up about 18 inches above that hook right there. Chris got a big one on. And I got one on too, we doubling up. Hold him hook. Oh, you got a good one, Chris. Yeah. He just jumped over yonder. And I got one right here. Oh Lord, I got one. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna go and get mine in. Chris got a good one on. Well, I ain't got, oh Lord. Let me get him up here. You got him, Chris? Yes, sir, I got him. Oh, we in a boat. Oh Lord. Yeah, let me get this now. Don't let him get off, boy. That's a nice little spotty bash here. I'm gonna turn mine loose and we're gonna get Chris's right here. Let me get him up here. Oh, that's a good one, Chris. That's what you, that's what you come for, buddy. He, oh, we seen this net. Oh, no, 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 no. Golly, that's a good one. That's a nice spotty bass, son. <laughs> Thank you, Rocky. Thank you, spotted bass. That is a nice oh. spotty bass. Look at that pretty thing. Goodness. We, I tell you what, we're gonna weigh that one. Yeah. So you just put them right there like that. Clamp them on there like that. Okay, now I'm gonna cut the scales on. We're gonna see what Chris's spotty bass weighs. See on, it said Bubba right there. Zero, zero, zero. Let's pick him up and see. Here we go. Three pound. Whoa. Three pound, one ounce. We'll take it. See there, Chris? It. Awesome. Huh? Thank you, Rocky. Awesome. Yeah, how you like Love this it. live bait? Fish? Love it. Love that live bait. Thank you, Rocky. Live bait's a ticket. Once you get a hang of it, get the hang of it, I've caught the most bass today on Gunners I ever have. Thank y'all for watching. God bless y'all. Good man right here, yeah.